Good afternoon, I am Takamasak. Welcome back to Epic Debate Time on Medieval Cop, the true monster. Let us click in screen. You are saying the dragon is, is innocent. What foolishness is this? The person, the dragon attacked this place and tried to eat the person. Isn't that enough proof? No, the dragon had no need to eat a person because there was an abundance of food. The hotel was filled with all kinds of foods. If the dragon was really hungry instead of trying to break the bathroom door, he would have nommed all that shit. He would have simply ate the food on the table. Drake used facts. Did I get him? It was super effective. <laughs> you think you have won? The debate is just heating up. Good, because I can happen to a bucket of cold water. You're doing all right. Keep it up and you can win this debate. Sometimes your opponent may try to bluff you. Pinpoint whether what they say is true or false and trap them. Now your health has been reset to three. What you say is nothing more than circumstantial evidence. Maybe the dragon liked to eat humans. Eh, what he's saying makes sense. Is, uh, I thought he didn't eat any humans. Yeah, because there were tons of bros around. You're just bluffing! Punch him! Thinks he's all great with that luxurious hair. Yeah, I could have been at all. Damn it! Curses! You have to agree, Polly, that, it, that this was a setup. Someone used the chaos to murder the professor. Like hell, it was a setup. Are you trying to say that the dragon is an accomplice of the culprit? No, the dragon was bait simply to fool our eyes and hide the real culprit. Oh, it laughed for me. I've got you now, Dreg. What are you saying is the truth, and the culprit knew about the dragon and planned ahead. And if that was true, where did the culprit hide the dragon? You must be some kind of... Oh, God, he didn't even know. Uh... You're just wasting my time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm gonna get wrecked. Okay, two tries remaining. Ah, okay, I should have picked that from the start. Oh, got him. Got him. Plunk. That got him. Wrecked. Apparently, you can just wreck him. Yeah, it pretty much is. He fought bravely. Ah, uh, he's still alive. <laughs> wow, potty mouth. Holy Jesus. I'm still going to throw you in the dump. Oh, it'll help just plenty. Hey, you two by that door. GTFO. Wrecked. Absolutely destroyed. Apparently. Okay. All right, let me go look. I want to see the the carnage. Oh, I still have the locket, too. He came back for nothing. All right. Back in we go. All right. Oh, pardon. Okay. I don't know how you got in here so quick. Uh-huh. All right, get out of the way. Okay. Oh, okay, let's go this way. Oh. Can I keep doing it? Okay, no, I thought maybe there'd be some extra dialogue there, but nope. Oh, he's fine. Okay. These were the people with the professor. They better have something useful to tell. Ooh. To yeah, those are pretty big toilets. Dude, how much time do we got to wait, man? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Very. <laughs> Try it, Evergreen, bro. Yeah, I wonder what it reeks like. Hmm. Somebody telling me everything you know. 
Some us dudes got together through a professor a killer party. We thought it would help him get better our grades. The old man used to come here like every day, so we thought this was an ideal location. He comes to the bathroom every day? No shit. <laughs> oh. Uh. Hmm. Alright, bro, you okay? Yeah, beaten and scratched all over. Hmm. Nah, I don't think so. Can I look in the sink? Ow, oh, rip. Oh, yeah, why is she in here? What do you mean you don't smell anything? You just smelled something two seconds ago. Oh, that's right. He's got a, a flu. I forgetted that already. Forgot it did, did, did. Mill, mill, okay. Miss Nil? Did she say mill? There you go. <laughs> Alright, what do you know? I didn't even want to come to this stupid party. My friends dragged me here. The party is stupid and boring. Say so that twice. You really hate it that much. Did you know what it was, the menu was? Tomatoes. Everything was made of tomatoes. They said that the, they were the professor's favorite. I mean, she ate the tomato flavored cake, too. The only thing finished was my cake slice. It was the only thing I could stomach. I immediately went home after that. Like I said, I went home really. I forgot my handbag, so I came back only to see the army surrounded area by the area surrounded by army. Something along those lines. So your parents. So you weren't present to witness the professor's death? No. Then why the hell is your testimony more important when you weren't anywhere near the crime scene? They took my handbag as evidence. Like I said, they need to prove that it was my handbag and not the dragons. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, I'm somewhat useful. I'm useful for some stuff. No, nah, same thing. Okay. What do you got to say, bro? Um, just, yeah, I guess. Oh, geez. Okay, this guy is actually, like, remotely helpful. Maths teacher. Algebra teacher. <laughs> Algebra. That's a fairly automated general percentage. Hard subject, but the professor's way of teaching was simple and easy to understand. This is why I hate the dragon who took his life. Hmm. Hmm. Well, for start, some of us students decided to hold a birthday party for the professor. We arranged everything from cake to streamers. I was in charge of snacks. Well, since the professor liked tomatoes, we made an entire made a menu of tomatoes. That explains the tomato-flavored cake. Yes, the professor really loved tomatoes. He liked the cake, too, although I think that someone else was in charge of that. Ambulance! Well, after I was eating cake, the professor went to the bathroom. After I finished my share, I thought of searching for the professor. It was then I heard the roaring of the dragon. I panicked and left the scene until I later remembered that the professor was still in the bathroom. And when you returned, you saw the army had come and you weren't given entry until now. Y yes. I think I get the gist of things. Wait here, I have questions for you later on. That'd be a waste of time. I mean, they already caught the dragon, right? Just stand here like you were told, bro. Bro, you acting mighty guilty. Yeah, I don't think we really got anywhere. Hmm. Well, so far it does. I'm not buying that. I'm not bu Hey. Uh, oh, immediately. Hmm. Oh, he's, he's dead. He didn't take his medicine. Oh, that's right. No medicine. Perhaps me and my mustache can be of assistance. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, no. 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 <laughs> God is a giant tomato. Of course, oh, cherries. Okay, cherries are a little better. Now, that's a freaking cherry. He's a god of many foods. Oh, Jesus. 
Oh god, the mustache bro is smacking me about. Vilrul, what are you doing here? Is this any way to talk to your brother-in-law who just saved your life? You sound like a lapse, Dre. You shouldn't have come if you were sick. Whoa, and I was like, dude. <laughs> oh. The wimpy bro said he can't take someone as messy as me to the court. So he told me to take a shower first. My mustache was insulted today. There will be blood. It does smell. Hey! The tomato god. It was the tomato god! In the bathroom with the... The, uh, the dragon glass sword. Really, guys, I gave him the cake. You freaking idiot! Could it be like that? If that's true, then I know who the killer is! Captain Bulldark, I have some work for you. I want to search the ladies' bathroom as thoroughly as possible. You need to bring the remaining cake. It is... Oh, uh, the cake was poisoned? No, because the girl ate it too. Trainer, come with me to the royal cart. I haven't had a shower yet. Forget the shower, just come with me before they decide to kill the dragon. No, no mustache. Yes. Oh, okay, that's it. Not uh, sure. Oh, I meant, meant to go one down, but... Oh, not the Durgan. Section 42A, Part B. And now you will see... How long is this coop going to be talking? It has already been over an hour now. True, it's not like the result is going to be any different. Now, now, let's let him have his moment. He is the son of our dear friend, Abbott. Relations don't matter when it comes to truth and justice. You will remember it well next time, Sir Azen. Strict as ever, Sir Abbott. Don't worry, my reasoning doesn't change that easily. Isn't that right, Madam Raven? Don't try to get me involved in your dispute. Can you all stop talking now? I honestly don't care about this case. It's not like we plan on having dragons as pets. It is as you say. The idea that dragon can be kept as a pet is absurd beyond doubt. Ah, more of that uh, Dragon Quest-like music. And I conclude my majesty and the council to get a proper ruling for this dragon. Your Majesty? Oh, he fell asleep. Oh. Ah ha ha ha! Oh, what? Yeah, look at him. Okay. Isn't it obvious the dragon is clearly guilty? I agree with Sir Laura on this one. Guilty, guilty. I agree, guilty. All right. G hold it right there! Oh god, not him again. Have any idea what you're saying? Uh, sure. <laughs> the old tomato god. Uh, I'm going to bring to drink to a true killer. Uh, yes. Ah, shit. Hmm. Now. Oh. Yeah, pretty much. Get. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, what do you mean? There's something wrong with my decisions, Zulu. What I'm saying is, are we just going to release a killer into the public because the people who are supposed to protect them are late for a party? Oh, well, yes, pretty much. Uh, probably the same thing in different ways. If there's a new evidence, it is our duty to check it. Besides, wasn't this trial supposed to show the world how civilized we are? What kind of civilized society ignores the truth? True that. Hmm. Oh, here we go. We got a split. We got a split. Hmm. 
Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's on. It's on. Hell yeah, save the game. Save that in five. Oh, we're going to fight to the death. We're going to fight Polly again. All right, ladies, break it up. Just explain another trigger. When Polly came to the court, we hadn't yet figured out the dragon it came from. It came from the women's restroom. Is it related? We know as soon as the is Captain Baldart comes here. Oh, you're just in time. Please tell the court your findings. Hmm. Very well. On Dreg's orders, we searched the ladies' bathroom for clues. There we found some weird scratches on the walls. On closer inspection, we found an inner chamber where we found proof of the dragon having been there. Hey, wait a minute. I asked you to search the entire area, so why didn't you find anything then? You asked us to look for holes and or burrows, so my people have overlooked it. Besides, it was the second clue I got that made me realize there could be a secret chamber. The restaurant was owned by the Professor Wadsworth. I suspect it was such. What does all this mean? I don't know what it means. <laughs> hey, you got... Oh. Okay. Alright. You guys have anything to say? Yep. I, I, I apparently... A dude, what are you doing, dude? What's that guy doing over there? You're still wasted. No. She seems alright. All right, let's approach the dragon. Hmm. Ah, dragon, okay. Hmm. Isn't that right, dragon? Dragon used Nom. It was super effective. Hmm. Oh, Jay. Grrrr! Oh. It is misunderstood, like the rest of the world misunderstands the difference between good and evil. Gurg. Ah, oh, look at that beautiful dragon. This dragon is a. Uh, is it a. Is it a pet? Pet of Professor Wardsworth. Unbelievable! We saw the dragon trying to eat the professor. No, I probably thought his master was sleeping and tried to wake him up. Even a cat or dog does that backwards but we got it from that angle we it may have looked like the dragon was trying to eat him how do you understand Polly the dragon cannot be the killer but if it was docile why did it resist the soldiers it may be a pet but it's still an animal seeing so many unknown people coming at him with stern looks and sharp weapons must have activated his instincts but it didn't hurt anyone seriously during the process that is where we first suspected the dragon's true nature that sounds wonderful but where's the proof what you just said is all speculation without proof. This is not enough of an evidence. Uh, usually when things are unclear, people ask proof of guilty rather than innocence. Trust me, I'm being impartial here. But the witness testimony says that the dragon was in the bathroom when the incident happened. Let's fix that, shall we? For starters, the person didn't... The person didn't saw the dragon in the bathroom. <laughs> he saw the dragon coming out of the bathroom. That changes things how? The person who saw the dragon getting out was... Oh, shit. I don't know. Uh, it was... This guy. No? Oh, that's right. I think it, I think it was this... Oh, yeah! That's the guy I wanted. It confirms the dragon was in the men's bathroom, where the murder occurred. That's what I thought at first. What changed from that? No. The following factor played an important role in this fall. Uh. Oh, shit. I don't know. <laughs> Try, do you remember the way you fell to the ground? I fell head on in, onto the cake piece. Exactly. What does that prove except he's a clumsy idiot? He fell head on. His body would be upside down. I see. If he was upside down when he thought he saw the dragon coming out of the men's bathroom, he was actually seeing the dragon come out of the ladies' bathroom. Whoa! I don't know how high you were. No, drag is high. How are <laughs> so because of some idiot, we misled about the timing of the dragon's whereabouts. And the dragon was coming from the men's bathroom, but from his secret room inside the ladies' bathroom. 
But then, but then, yes, the dragon couldn't have killed the professor. No, no way. Yeah, who did? Took advantage of the dragon's present to kill the professor without knowing that the dragon was the professor's pet. Someone whose testimony had a fault they didn't even notice. It was one of you three. That's ridiculous. Dude. Hmm. Hmm. I will need to cross-examine all at once. Oh, let's bring it on. 1v3. I don't just... I don't... I just don't gaff. De-gaff. De de Not don't gaff. Medieval debate. Absolutely. Let's save this shit. I think we're close, so we're just going to finish it. All right, everyone, I'm going to ask questions understood by three. A question understand? No, not at all. Dude. Hmm. Okay. I think it's this guy. I think it's this guy. Yeah. No? Okay. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm gonna get right. I don't know. Well, oh, the girl's not. A, I should pay attention. Uh, Mila is not. I... Hmm. Okay. Did I kill her? Just one shot. Oh. This is getting exciting! It doesn't. I just wanted to get the facts straight. That you three know each other well. Well, we're students of the His class was huge, so it's not possible. I'm still guessing Homie there is the, the true guy here. Students who threw the party basically knew the professor personally because they knew he was coming to the restaurant every day. So stop lying and admit that you guys know each other. Yeah, true dad. Like, whatever. If you're done talking to each other, I'd like to hear the truth now. All three of us at the bottom of the professor's... Oh. <laughs> mm. Smart student's idea, huh? Yeah, I wonder why. What you guys are saying is the truth, and it clashes with this person's testimony. Ah, shit, I don't know already. Didn't he say he was... I don't know, man. Oh, it was a while ago since I played that other half. I, I shouldn't have taken that break in between recording that one and this one. Ah, shit. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know. Okay, I, I don't know either. What? It's definitely the green guy. Definitely the green guy. Super effect. Uh, jumpy King. Indeed, sir. I remember telling a joke. One simple question. Oh, who ate the cake? Oh, she ate the cake. Yes. Oh, you did eat some. Oh. Uh, hold on, let me hear that again. Ah, oh, shit. He also ate some. I think they would be able to guess color and taste. Shit. <laughs> they would have been able to guess the color and the taste. I mean, it was tomato, so it's gonna... Oh, I guess they... Okay, let's reload. Alright, so I'm back here. I don't know which one, because I think they would have all known. I guess homie wouldn't have known. I don't know. 
Ah, it was cherry cake. Uh, what? Oh, oh, we got him. I knew it. Called it. Called it. Get him. Here's the cake. No, no, Polly, eat the damn cake. Ah, oh, it's sheep flavored. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, okay. They they threw it. Okay, how do? Oh, wait, I'm having trouble following that one. Cake's flavor changed after the murder. What kind of conclusion is that? It looks like your theory is lost. Remember, you're just really trying to grasp at the straws. Happy evidence to, evidence to support your theory, Officer Greg. The evidence is in the cake, Your Majesty. Captain, you may now search the cake. Yes. Broken glass bottle. Ah, like cherry wine? Or tomato ketchup. Okay. Ah, uh, <laughs> they murdered him with... <laughs> what? The culprit attacked his victim with this bottle, hitting him a few times. The glass bottle broke, so the culprit used the sharp glass from the bottle to mortally wound the victim. I see. Because of that, we thought the victim was killed by the dragon. Yes, the culprit's aim all along. When my nose cleared, I could smell blood and tomato mixed together, which gave a foul odor. So, after killing the victim, the killer must have hid in a bottle, hid the bottle in the cake. Give it up, Crowell! But he's wrong, isn't he? Tried? Oh, oh, now he's whistling. Of course he's wrong. No. The cake in front of us is tomato flavored. There is no way to prove that it was cherry flavored. Uh. Hmm. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, who's. Who the hell's holding the evidence? Uh. Hmm. <laughs> oh, right. You don't know how to kill. Sorry. Uh. Uh. Sh I don't know who's holding the evidence. Oh, the dude that fell in it. Uh, oh, yeah, because he never took a shower. Tried. Uh-oh. According to Tried's testimony, he fell in his cake piece when the dragon appears. If you really carried him, it would have been after the murder, which means the cake remains on him bef should be before the murderer put the bottle in the cake. Sorry, Crow. Uh oh, he's making a run for it. Oh no, he's not. Yeah, I knew it was you from the start. You can tell by the color. Unbelievable! Confessing in front of the king is considered solid evidence. He actually did it. Looks like Greg, Drag is more capable than I thought. Damn it! Damn it! Didn't you say that the professor was easygoing? Why would you kill him then? That was a lie, obviously. So, you had a hard time. Have you ever studied in Raicha University, Officer Dreg? They have an unspoken system there. Select some random students from each class and fail them purposely. Young man, are you accusing the university of foul play? I... I... Speak up now. You won't get a second chance like this. You're right, Officer Dreg. They fail you no matter how many times you try. They even ridicule and give you a hard time. For what purpose? Fear, Madam Raven. By showing the other students what could potentially happen to them if they fail. They study out of fear. Is this why you killed the professor? When the professor went to the bathroom, I followed him and begged for an explanation of our failing grades. It was then he told me of the system. I was shocked and angry. I was walking out of the bathroom when I saw the dragon. It took me a moment to realize what was happening. So I took advantage of the situation and... And you ended his life. I thought, if the dragon is going to kill some people anyway, why don't I add one victim to his list? I'm sorry I had to go through all that. Please don't pity me. 
I now realize that I am no different from the people who tortured me and my friends. I am sorry, Dragon. You went through a lot because of me. I guess what they say is true. Humanity is the true monster. All right. Well, shit. That was that was something. Alright, here we go. Uh, Carl was found guilty and in prison. I was going to investigate the university the system talked about. Say the game to this. I hope to go easy on him. So this game, uh, I don't think I went over last time, but this, this game has no badges. It's just kind of a continuation. Uh, there are... I'll go over that after. I'll go after that after. I don't know how much longer it is, but we'll go over that after. When the criminal film and we're actually seeing it. Don't worry about the dragon. Ah, it's old potato face. I decided not to harm the dragon. Mustache aficionado. Uh, shut the hell up. Wah, wah. Okay. Uh, I don't want to be alone with that. You want to wash my clothes down there? No. The visual drew feelings for his mustache. Think of Ribbon Nuts? Kind of low backgrounds. My father's just a low level cop back then. Are you talking about the police academy? Yes, the lower class people like us were also ridiculed and hated. And you think it, one of us could have taken that step, Greg? Polly, you're a good person. Idiotic, jumpy, a wimp, too eager, and a fool, but still a good person. I can hardly see you taking that step. I see. Uh oh. No, oh, you got the dragon in the house. Hey, buddy. Yay, dragon. <laughs> dragon. Okay, well. <laughs> yep. Well, he, at least he's a tame dragon. Yeah, that's fine. Just pass out right there. I mean, I mean, I mean, sure. I, what do I need to save it? Hey, friend. Ooh. Oh, it's her. Was she a villain in the first one? I don't remember. I don't know. Legend of the Balboa Kingdom. Rocky Balboa Kingdom? Oh, they've got plans. I thought it might have was just a pawn in a bigger game. Good lord. I see. Yes, we can finally begin. Oh, you ain't doing nothing. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right, so that is a, that is a very completely other game. So if you want to play this game, uh, as always, the link will be in the video description. But what I was saying earlier, um, oh, this game does have a 4.2 rating on Congregate, too, if you're interested in that kind of stuff. But uh, what I was saying, I did want to play these sequentially or at least do my best to do so. I don't think, like, I think they start, hold on, let me, let me scroll down a little bit because you can actually sort by games for this developer. So it's all the way up to Medieval Cop 9, at least, and then... There are other ones like mixed in with it that don't. Okay, that's episode three. Excuse me, episode four, part three. So this, see, they eventually start having badges. Three doesn't, but episode four, part three does. So there's at least, uh, there's at least like seven, at least more of these games. And then there's like Medieval Angel and Medieval Chronicle and other stuff like that. So this guy's got a really popular series going on. I don't think, uh, I think it's only been a little bit since the last one was released. But like I said, I do want to go in sequential order. I don't think that, uh, well, yeah, we just, we just learned that not all of them have badges, but the next game I believe does. So, uh, like I said, if you want to play, the link will be in the video description. I'm Takamasak. I'll see you later.